One Minute Story If this is your first time here though, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up. Garden's Empire Intro Keeping a garden is a great way to get some fresh air and spend time relaxing with friends. However, it can also be a lot of work. If you feel like you're spending more time pulling weeds than admiring your flowers, why not have some fun by coming up with a funny game that involves your plants? You probably don't have time to grow entire gardens worth of plants right now, but that doesn't mean that your indoor plants need to stay on the shelf forever. A unique party game will make anyone giggle while forcing people to think outside the box. Here are some ideas for an impressive company and an interesting theme party game. Build a garden, build a movie. The first step in starting this game is creating a garden. The creation process is what will spark the ideas for the title of the movie. Ideally, you'll have a space where you can plant some real plants. If you don't have room indoors, a tabletop garden will work just as well. The more plants you have in your garden, the more ideas you'll have for movie titles. However, don't forget to add in a variety of other elements. A garden isn't a garden without a few decorative rocks, a nice patio, or a bench for sitting. Watch out for the weeds. Once you've created your garden, you can start playing the game. Every time someone makes an awful movie suggestion, they have to pluck a couple weeds from your plants. This will help to keep the game moving while also giving your plants some much-needed TLC. If weeds are growing in your garden, try not to pluck them out. You can use them as inspiration for the movie title instead. If you're having trouble coming up with a few good weeds, try one of these methods, merge words together. If your garden is full of daffodils, you might want to try and merge words together to come up with a new title. Daffodil, 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 or daffodilator could be a good start. Use a word from one of the plants, many plants have fruit or flowers. You can use the name of a flower or fruit as inspiration to come up with a new movie title. Pick a random item in your garden, you have to have something in your garden. If you don't have a single inspiration item, try picking something random, like the color of one of your rocks. A Big Bowl of Greek Salad Greek salad is a classic recipe that's easy to prepare. It's also delicious. This game is a great one to play if you've got a large group of people. Prep a big bowl of Greek salad and put it on a table in the middle of your garden. Every time someone makes a bad movie title suggestion, they have to eat a spoonful of salad. If you make your salad with a variety of toppings, you can make the game extra challenging. Make sure to include things like olives, artichokes, and onions. Any of these items make for a great challenge. You can also try adding in some spicy peppers or feta cheese for added difficulty. Shrimp and the Company If you've got a tabletop garden, or you're just looking for an easy way to make a fun mini garden, try making a tiny shrimp boil. Boil a bag of frozen shrimp, then add a bag of baby corn and some sliced peppers. Place the boil in the middle of your garden table, add some tiny bowls and spoons, and you've got a miniature garden that's full of delicious shrimp boil. If you're feeling daring, 
you can add a few tiny corn cobs to the mix as well. You can even add in some tiny potatoes if you feel like going all out. Mini gardens are the perfect approachable party game. If you're hosting a mixed set of people, this is a great way to get everyone involved. The Lion King Repetition Edition If you've got some decorative lions sitting around your house, you can bring them into your game. Every time someone makes a bad movie title, you have to repeat the last word in their suggestion. If your friend says, I've got a great idea for a movie. It's called The Lion King, you'll have to reply, it's called The Lion King. You can do this as many times as it takes for the other person to get a new idea. You can use any decorative element to get this game going. If you don't have lions, try using stuffed animals or decorative figurines. You can also use decorative items like candles, glassware, or books. Anything in your house could be used as a game piece. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Hanging Plants If you've got a tabletop garden, try creating a miniature Hogwarts garden. Add in a variety of plant life, including plants like cacti, ferns, and succulents. Name your plants after characters from the popular series. When someone makes a bad movie title suggestion, you have to use the name of one of your plant characters. If guests see that you've got a miniature Hogwarts in your tabletop garden, they'll definitely want to get involved in the game. This makes for a great table game that you can play while you're waiting for food to arrive or sitting around the fire after dinner. Prince Prolific's Magical Kingdom If you've got a tabletop garden, try creating a miniature kingdom. Add in a variety of different decorations and plants to create a magical scene. When someone makes a bad movie title suggestion, you have to add a new decoration to your kingdom. If someone suggests, I've got a great idea for a movie. It's called The Lion King. You have to add a lion to your miniature tabletop kingdom. If you've got a miniature tabletop kingdom, you can also try building a large outdoor garden. Make sure to add in a few challenging decorations for added difficulty. You can also try adding in a few decorations for comedic effect. Final words Keeping a garden can be a relaxing and enjoyable hobby, but it can also be quite the task. When you host a garden party, you can put those skills to good use. You can create a game that mixes humor with gardening. With a game like this, you can have fun while also spending time with friends. Which game do you like best? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Thank you so much for listening. If you're new here, don't forget to click wherever the red subscribe button is. Click that and give me a thumbs up.